we have Hera. Hera is the wife of Zeus, the queen of the gods, and goddess of motherhood. What sticks out to me originally is that, based on mythology, where she's a jealous, angry wife who constantly takes her anger out at Zeus on other people, I thought Hera was going to be in the F tier with them. But in my research, I did find a smaller but certainly vocal amount of people, mostly women, working with a reclaimed version of Hera, a caring mother, a protective deity who can provide guidance. And really, I see where they're coming from. A popular story is how Hera constantly rejected Zeus until Zeus tricked Hera by pretending to be an injured cuckoo bird. She only cared because she thought an animal was in trouble, and when she gave him a hug, it turned into Zeus. If that's not the most wholesome and kind of disappointing thing on Hera's part, I don't know what is. Usually people in this category give her some slack because her hand was pretty much forced in marrying Zeus, and she couldn't really do much to him, so what was a few mortals in the span of Greek mythology? One of the main things is that overall she's just not that popular, to the point where alternatives like the Egyptian Isis, or Gaia, or pretty much any other Divine Mother come to the forefront if you have no other preference. That leads to a pretty low uniqueness score, which reflects how many other similar options there are, and whether or not the deity is seen as the best choice among the options. Fun fact, Hera was so vengeful at all of Zeus's extramarital affairs that the only way one of his children survived was because they received Hera's name, just to please her. That didn't really help him in the long run, because she still tried to hunt him down pretty much his whole life, and, believe it or not, you've almost definitely heard of that child, and he's the next one on our list. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more about all paths, religions, traditions, and pantheons, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you really, really liked the video, please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment telling me if I should cover the Norse or Egyptian pantheon next. Either way, thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you around.